Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. And today is Wednesday Water. It's all about the water signs. And this is the general tarot reading for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. But we're going to start right off with Cancer. And uh, here we have water and sun on the table, that beautiful Cancer sign. Take a moment to meditate on those energies while I go ahead and shuffle your cards. All right, we're going to leave Cancer right here. Take away that sun and water, cut your deck, and let's get right into your reading. Now, remember that these readings can't resonate with everyone, and just take what applies to you and leave the rest on the table. So we have Page of Swords, we have Knight of Pentacles, Strength card, and the Ten of Cups. Nice energy, nice base energy, backing it up with Four of Swords, Empress energy, the Hanged Man, and the Page of wands all right so at the bottom of the deck we have judgment all right judgment a lot of times talks about reconciliation coming back into someone um that you know you may have changed a perspective on we're going to come back to that all right so right now let's just go ahead and get right into your reading cancer page of swords energy so this week you're coming into a lot of confidence right um recently you've really taken a step back and tried to reassess the lay of the land in a particular area right you're trying to come up with uh, what your next move is going to be and i think this week is the week that you're going to be making your move you may have been biding your time uh, recently, when it comes to a certain issue, of course, we are going to go deeper with clarifiers. But right now, there's a little bit of clarity that's coming in for you this week, right? Um, and you're going to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, move forward with your decisions, right? With the, with the things that you've been contemplating. For some of you, moving forward involves definitely following a goal with regard to something you're trying to manifest here and now in terms of finances trying to uh, accomplish a goal that you can measure it could be uh, money a home it could be something to do with your health but here i'm feeling more cancer that this is a lot more to do with your finances your money your stability right um, there's a particular goal that you've had in mind, a particular achievement, and this week you're also going to be moving forward on this. Again, I think this is a, a week of a lot of movement and progress. Let's begin with your clarifiers. There's your high priestess coming in. So you knew that the time would be right, and there's your king of pentacles. So you knew that the time would be right. Uh, you knew, let's put it to you this way, you knew when the time would be right to make the decision that you're going to make, and you're going forward with that, and definitely has something to do with your work, or your money, or perhaps your business, right, something like that, um, you're definitely successful, you know, you have King of Pentacles energy there, so Cancer, this is a reading for a Cancer that knows a certain amount of success, right, um, and that's had some experience with it. But recently, I'm going to say perhaps in the last few months, um, you've been trying to make some different moves, right? Now, on the heels of that also, you have Empress Energy there. For some of you, you may be trying to get into much more of a creative area in your uh, career. Let's get a clarify. Ah, and there we have some unrealistic expectations. So for some of you, I get a feeling cancer. You're successful, right? Uh, you, you have a successful business and there's your king of cups. You have a successful business or you're very successful at your job. But I think recently you've been wanting to make a particular change. Now that change in your job area, um, it's full of a lot of excitement and hope and ideas, but it's a it's a it's a, a passion project, right? It's a project. This new change, this new avenue that you're wanting to go down, is something that's really um, important to you emotionally. You have emotions uh, connected to it, and yes, you've been thinking about the right way to go about it. But do take care because I think some of your expectations may be a little bit unrealistic. And that's what's coming in here now into the reading uh, as far as the message is concerned. And I think the reason why you might be having sort of these unrealistic or perhaps extremely lofty ideas of how to move forward is because 
it is affecting you so emotionally. Uh, it's so emotionally charged, this new endeavor that you're going into. Again, um, for some of you, I feel strongly that this endeavor is going to involve children or community or people who may be vulnerable. Okay, so again, this is close to your heart. This new tact, this new path is very close to your heart, but it's difficult. And your excitement, there you go, Ace of Pentacles. There's opportunity there to achieve it, but your excitement needs to be a little bit tempered. High priest, there it is. So the high priest in this deck is the same as the hero fan. For some of you, this is absolutely going to be about changing something, changing minds, changing hearts. This is definitely going to be something that is community driven. Cancer is out there. Um, if you're working with, again, I feel vulnerable people, marginalized people, if you're working in that field, if you're um, suddenly, and when I say suddenly, it's not so sudden. It's something perhaps that you've been thinking about for quite some time, but the change is quite uh, strong. You know, the change is quite big from what you normally do. It could be, an example could be that you may be a person who works in a particular field that up until now has really been just about the numbers and profit, perhaps the profit driven or something like that. And then all of a sudden, perhaps recently, you've begun to sort of look at it from people driven, right? And it's just like a little, little change where, or something has happened that's changed sort of your perspective. Now, this is not to say that you're throwing away your old goals of, you know, making money and things like that, but it's just a different way that you're looking at it. And again, this new way is definitely going to be involving people, younger people, perhaps people who are vulnerable, people in your community. And yet still, it will, it, it, it promises rather, or has the potential to be extremely profitable. Ace of Pentacles, very profitable, but different, different and new for you. Um, hangman energy comes in again, because for a long time, perhaps you have only had one viewpoint of something, and that viewpoint really didn't account for um, any other considerations or any other work as far as thinking outside the box. And you're having to change that. It's it's taking a lot of strength, but you'll be happy. Queen of Cups come in. You'll be very happy, and Six of Cups. Some of you are doing this in connection with someone who's close to you. So someone who is very close to your heart or that you have a lot of affection for, fondness, is driving this. Judgment is there for some of you. Cancer, even deeper into the message and more specific, it feels like there was a time in your life uh, where um, a certain scenario occurred and you had a certain viewpoint of that scenario. You had a certain idea of, um, you know, wh what all the factors were and you thought you really hadn't had an understanding of it. At some point, there was an experience for you, Cancer, that really changed that judgment, that really changed that, that changed your perspective and your viewpoint and your judgment specifically of a certain situation. Whereas perhaps before you may have been much more sort of severe on judging a particular action or a person in a particular set of circumstances because of your recent experience that's changed. And with that, your heart has changed on a number of issues to do with your purpose, your business, your career, etc. And it's through that change that you are now this week really kind of moving, you're moving your path, your path is widening, you're, you're broadening your horizons, you're broadening your perspective, you're beginning uh, to focus and orientate yourself towards a goal that uh, has very different sort of um, values associated with it. And this goal has a lot to do with this one activity or this one experience that you had that you feel like you've changed your mind on. 
You know, you may have had a really strong opinion about certain types of people. And then because of this recent experience, that opinion has completely changed. And now you fostered perhaps an enormous amount of empathy and understanding for the, for that particular type of person or that person in that circumstance. And on top of it, you're coming full cir circle and wanting to even support and help people in those circumstances. Do you see what I'm saying? This is the kind of turnaround that I see here, specifically to do with your purpose, your career, what it is you do for a living. This is a strong life change, a crossroads as it were. Um, just take care that with this, again, you do need a lot of strength, Yes, happiness is on the table. Success is on the table. Um, a new ideal, you know, uh, your ideals are, are changing. All of that is on the table. But, but, but please do take care, as I said, that your expectations aren't too realist, unrealistic or too lofty in the beginning because this work that you're undertaking is hard work. Spirit of the Pegasus. Masculine spirit, action, yes, and spirit of armor. So spirit of the Pegasus. Spirit of the Pegasus, here we're talking about, let's see if we can get this, unrealistic expectations, not as it seems, delusions, okay? Take care. This is what I mean. Masculine spirit, I love these oracle cards. Masculine spirit, okay, action, power, dominance, right? This is coming in for you. You are actuating on, on this new goal that you have. And, of course, spirit of armor. Now, tactical, defense, guarded, take care. Whenever you start a new project or you're on something new, especially like this, you want to take care. Be careful, you know, who to tr listen. Whenever you're going into a field that involves anyone vulnerable, marginalized, uh, issues to do with the heart and people's opinions and ideas and sense of identity, you want to be careful, right? You want to be careful and guarded because those are very, those are the most sensitive things that, uh, we deal with, right? Uh, in our society, and it's in those areas that uh, people take advantage, and it's in those areas that uh, you can find um, people who seek to undermine you, so take care. That energy is there. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, give me a moment, take a, take a breath, maybe go get your tea. We are going to pull up all these cards and come right back for the Scorpio general tarot reading for the week. Give me one moment. All right. So now we are up to Scorpio. Um, take a moment to look at this beautiful energy of Scorpio, sun and water. But also today we have the moon in Scorpio. Okay. So sun, uh, not sun in Scorpio. Of course, we are well into airy season, um, but moon in Scorpio today. So take a moment to, uh, Look at those cards where I do a cursory shuffle of your deck. And we are going to go ahead and take these cards up, cut your deck, and get ready to do your general reading for Scorpio. The love reading will be listed today as well, so do check my channel for that. Let's get right into it, Scorpio. We have Six of Cups coming in, Ten of Cups, wow, Fool, and a Chariot. Love, 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 happiness. Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Star, and Nine of Wands. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have that beautiful strength energy, Leo energy coming in. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Uh, Six of Cups energy, Three of Pentacles energy. Um, backing it up. Yes, this is a beautiful reading after weeks and weeks of you having quite a difficult time, especially in the area of love. I see here for you something coming together, right? Someone that you know that you have a deep affection for, that you have a lot of love for and care for. You both know each other intimately. You understand each other. And this week, there's a real coming together of that, a real sense of happiness, and completion in a lot of ways. Um, for some of you as well, Scorpio, on the heels of that, 
your work is increasing. I'm going to say also the work that you're doing with your person. It's like, this is a love reading right away, okay? But what it says to me, uh, even though it's a general, sometimes the general readings are about life, love, or career, but this one is about love. And what it says to me is that there's been actual physical work that you've put into this connection. You've really made an effort here. Um, and also, it's just gotten deeper. In as much as, for instance, um, you know, you, you, the two of you or this person that you're connected with, this, this, uh, relationship that's really important to you, it's, it's gotten deeper. It's gotten stronger. You, you spend more time together. You do more things together. You're beginning to plan more things together. And there's just a real feeling of completedness here. All right. Ace of swords. Yeah. There's, it feels to me like you guys have, uh, you and your person have really turned a corner in some ways. Something has happened that's really sort of cleared up a lot of strife. Wow, look at that. Two aces back to back. Ace of swords and the ace of wands. This is a huge new beginning for you, Scorpio, with someone that really, really touches your heart. And there's nothing but positivity here. Wow, the emperor. And the Eight of Wands. Now, for a little while, I do believe, I'm going to say that for a little while in this connection, things may have been very confusing. There is a lot of energies uh, here that have been sort of rolling around and circulating. And, you know, so it, I, I want to say at the start, perhaps, or even not so much at the start, but right after the start, there may have been some difficulty. There may have been some confusion. There may have been some um, some energies that were a little bit chaotic and perhaps even overwhelming, uh, probably because of it starting so strong, Scorpio, right? Um, there's a five of swords there. There feels to me like there may have been some uh, fighting against this happening here, right? Um, five of Swords, it's interesting. It almost comes across to me, Scorpio, as if you've been fighting uh, this connection, right? As if you've been saying, nope, I don't want it, <laughs> you know? And yet, whatever you do, it's coming. You know what I mean? It continues, you know, it's like you, maybe there was some fear there, Okay, yeah, perhaps a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety that you don't, you know, that this is going to fail, that you don't have what it takes. Of course, there's that two of pentacles showing up for all my readings. If you look back on my other readings, my God, every single day, at least one of the readings, two of pentacles shows up. Yes, there's seven of swords. There was a fear there and it continues to be, I want to say for you, in some areas of your life where, uh, where like, when I say areas of your life, I mean, over the next few weeks, there's going to be certain activity. It makes you feel like, hang on a second, is the rug going to be pulled out from underneath of me? Do Should I trust this, right? Because it almost feels too good to be true, right? It almost feels too good to be true. You're juggling a lot right now to make all of this happen, but it is a dream come true, and it does feel like a brand new adventure. I think eventually this, this little bit of... Uh, Right here, this energy of a little fear, little trepidation, a little sort of nope, 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 kicking and screaming. Yeah, I feel the connection too. I know this is strong, but a little bit of that, I think that's going to go away. And very quickly, you're going to just accept this for what it is, which is a whole new adventure. And you're going to go into it with, you know, eyes wide open, right? Uh, the star energy is there because ultimately, Scorpio, you desire this. You've been dreaming for this and desiring this. And I think, again, that's where some of the fear comes from. Nevertheless, whew, king of swords, emperor, strong energy. Like this is definitely, uh, this is definitely, uh, you know, sort of what you're meant to be doing or the, you know what I mean? Like it's, at the end of the day, this is what you've put into motion through your dreams, your desires and wishes over the previous, pa over the past, right? Over this previous time here. Um, and so it's kind of like 
everything you desired is coming to fruition here. So even though there's a little bit of fear here, this is what you've wanted. You made this happen, right? You've manifested this. And so now you're here. King of Swords is there though. It's to remind us, do take care. Make sure to keep healthy boundaries. On this new path you're on is going to need to be prepared. Chariot energy is in. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with Leo. Some of you Scorpios may be dealing with an Aquarius or dealing with uh, a Cancer. Okay, those energies are presented. Also, Aries is presented. So any of those energies might be in your chart or they may be in the charts of the people that you're dealing with right now. But again, I do feel like, yes, there is a little bit of angst associated with this connection only in as much as that you have to work for it. Um, there may be some difficulty that comes up here where it feels a little bit like, uh, uh-oh, you know what I mean? What else do I have to do? Nine of Wands is there. That's interesting. It almost feels as though, Scorpio, you know, you're coming out of a lean period, a period of lean, you know, n not a lot of love, not, not a lot of connections. You may have been quite solitary in the recent period in your life. Um, but yes, yeah, secretly really desiring this. And so this whole love that's come in, this really positive vibe that's come in, um, it does feel like you're kind of at the last stage of a dark time, you know, a period that's been quite dark for you. Uh, and not empty, but, you know, without connection, right? So even though this is what you desire, it's what you truly, truly wanted, it doesn't come without a little bit of growing pains. And that's what I feel the most here. It's just growing pains coming in. Um, you're having to be strong, you know, take care of your emotions. Strength is there at the bottom of the deck to remind you that, you know, take care that your emotions don't make the decisions, that you're making the decisions. Even if you're excited or you're angry or you're suddenly, you know, full of anxiety, those emotions are valid, but you don't want to make decisions from their point of view. You want to be focused. Um, again, ultimately, this is a beautiful, long, um, a beautiful love connection that is coming in strong. There is a completedness here. Be careful not to sabotage yourself um, by expecting the worst. Okay. Uh, and continue to sort of put the work in. There is work here. You know, any good relationship, especially a brand new one that starts with so much power here. You know, this person is presenting you with new passion. You're extremely physically attracted. Mentally, they're really, you're really, op you know, you, it's like a whole new world. It's a breath of fresh air for you. But there's work that has to be put in. And I think for the most part, the work that has to be put in here, Scorpio, is, as I say, on you controlling your emotions, perhaps, um, and not sabotaging yourself out of fear. Spirit of the snowflake, spirit of air, and spirit of sun. So, spirit of the snowflake, yes, one of a kind, irreplaceable. Spirit of air. Let's take a look at this one. So, I love this one because we're talking about clarity, awareness, and truth here coming in for you, right? Um, and that can be difficult sometimes, right? And spirit of the sun, energy, vitality, resurrection coming in strong. Um, yes, this is a beautiful reading for a Scorpio that is got a welcoming a new love connection. And despite them kicking and screaming and, you know, thinking that it's, going to be awful and being pessimistic and all of that. At the end of the day, you give in because this is such a strong connection. It's something that you so truly desire and really need in your life right now. And it's been some time before you've been loved and uh, before you've been able to love someone. So do take this as it comes for you. I hope it did resonate. Of course, these readings aren't going to resonate for everyone, but I'm going to leave Scorpio right there. And um, give me a moment and then we will be back with the Pisces general tarot reading for the week. All right. Now we are going to be getting right into the Pisces general tarot reading for the week. And this week, today, you can see we have a lot of planets in Pisces. We have Mars, Venus, Saturn, 
and Neptune in Pisces today. And I've noticed over the last couple of months, there's continued to be a lot of planets in the constellation of Pisces. So sit back, relax, um, take a moment to look at those beautiful cards and the energies on those cards and what speaks to you um, while I take a cursory shuffle of your deck here. And again, please remember that these readings are not going to resonate with everyone and just to take whatever applies to your situation that helps you out in a particular area of your life that maybe gives you some insight. Take that and leave the rest on the table. All right, guys. So beautiful. A lot of planets. Wow. So straight out, we have six of cups, hanged man. Wow. Two of swords. And the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Beautiful, strong energy, air of fire. Knights are always air, wands are fire. So really a lot of communication, fiery communication moving forward. All right, guys, so... Um, Pisces, your Six of Cups coming in, same as was for Scorpio in the last reading. Um, very strong affection. Um, someone's coming towards you, okay? You have a knight. You have a knight moving towards you and, you know, establishing contact, as it were, right? A new connection, kindred spirits, as it were, it feels like somebody that you really kind of relate to is coming through. This is on the heels of uh, the hangman energy here, four of pentacles. So this is, uh, I want to say, on the heels of you really kind of uh, having a negative outlook, perhaps, or just a particular outlook on love or on your love life. There's been issues to do with money. Um, you've been really kind of like focused on that, right? Um, stability, you know, concerns about your financial stability have really been taking up your mind and you've almost been kind of stuck, right? Kind of stuck in a certain viewpoint or a certain frame of mind. And I want to say that this night shakes everything up. Wow. King of Wands. So, and Nine of Wands. So yeah, you've really been focused on a particular goal, Pisces, sort of your empire, building, you know, building your future, um, achieving, you know, m manifesting a particular goal, right? You've been on your own with that, right? You've been very much on your own. You haven't had a lot of room for people to come into your life. Um, nevertheless, this person brings a lot of inspiration. Hangman comes in once there that change comes in, which is to say that, you know, you've been really in a rut for a while. Now, all of a sudden, there's this huge inspiration. You're kind of like, huh? Maybe it might not be so bad, uh, particularly to be involved with somebody. But yeah, I see some shadow here. There's some issues with a decision coming up. And you may indeed decide not to take this person's <clears throat> cup of love. Let's go a little bit deeper. Aquarius energy, the star, and an eight of pentacles. You're really consumed with a lot of work. Okay. And you're, oh, you know, I'm going to say that your stressors, your, 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 Anxiety and stress over work is really, um, I'm going to say, it's making it difficult for you to make room for anyone. You know, uh, yeah, you want this relation, you want a relationship. I'll put it to you this way, Pisces. This is for Pisces who deeply desires a strong connection and deeply desires everything that's happening here right now. But you may not be willing or able to really put the attention toward it right now that you can because you're so consumed with work. You're, you know, you, you, you're almost at a workaholic stage right now simply because of the anxiety that you have about your stability and more pentacles energy, knight of pentacles. You may say no to this person because you just can't. And it's difficult. <clears throat> There's your ace of swords, two of swords. It's very difficult. It almost seems as though to be with this person, you would have to like, you, it's like one or the other. 
Okay, it feels like a scenario where, yes, this is happening. This love connection is something you deeply desire, but the choice, two of swords, the choice that you're having to make is almost impossible. It's like, do I go with this love connection or do I go with my job and continue to pay my bills and take care of my stability? This fear of losing what you have is very, very strong. Um, and I, I, it almost feels as though <clears throat> between the two, you know, you may indeed decide, look, I can't take this cup of love. In the end, it seems as though Wheel of Fortune comes in. It almost seems as though some a fortuitous, a very fortuitous or fortunate event comes in that really helps you make this decision. Listen, for some of you Pisces, this is just as simple as you have to go somewhere for work and you can't be with this person. You know what I mean? Like you may have to travel. Eight of Swords, yep. Oh, and there's your seven of swords. It almost feels as though cutting corners. You don't want to cut corners. Be careful. Seven of swords is quite treacherous energy. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's you know, wanting, wanting to get things without putting the actual work in. Let's move all this over so we have some room here. So, and yet you want to take care of that. I think one of the things is here. This uh, not accepting this cup of love that comes into you and kind of saying, look, you know, now is not the right time. Um, it's, it's going, it's almost going to be a good move, I would say, in the long run, right? So in the short term, it seems kind of like, you know, like, oh, man, I'm really giving up an opportunity. But the thing is, <clears throat> you have to pay attention to what you're doing with your life right now. You have responsibilities here that you have to take care of. And if you don't make the right decision now, it, it, you know, you will be sort of sabotaging yourself. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You're going to have to put that work in, you know. Oftentimes that is the case. The work just simply has to be put in for the long-term outcome. You have a strong long-term outcome. Ten of Pentacles indicates that, you know, this feeling that of uh, you coming together with somebody, it working out and and financially being stable. But unless you make the right decisions right now, you may not have that. Eight of Swords is there to remind us not to be too constricted in our thinking. You know, think outside the box. Um, it could be that a lot of the source of your anxiety right now is because uh, you have a very narrow sort of view or you have a very narrow interpretation of your options. If you broaden your sort of outlook a little bit and allow for some more differences or allow for some room, some wiggle room, as it were, <clears throat> you may have some other options that are presented to you. Ultimately, it will feel almost as if uh, your hands are tied, you have no choice, and then all of a sudden something really, really lucky comes in, some kind of good luck almost from the universe, Wheel of Fortune comes in to help you out here. Um, and it's going to help you out with being like, oh, light bulb dawns. Like, oh, wow, well, hang on a second. We don't have to go like, we can do this. And you know what I mean? And and maybe we don't have to go about it this way. And this is all to do, Pisces, with you maintaining your responsibility and your work and continuing forward to come out of this unstable space that you're in and also maintaining this connection with this individual that's coming in, this person is coming in for you. It's going to require a lot of communication. Let them know how you're feeling, you know. Um, you are, you know, King of Wands is there because right now you're on a very important sort of path. You're on a very dynamic path of accomplishing something. And it's almost as though this love connections come in at just the wrong time, but you don't want to lose the op you don't want to miss your opportunity with this person. So it's like you do want your cake and eat it too, but unfortunately you're gonna have to make some difficult decisions to get both things. Let's pull your Oracle cards real quick and see what your Oracle has to say. Spirit of travel, there it is. Spirit of possession and spirit of the lion. So this is what I'm talking about. For some of you, travel, journey, relocation. Spirit of travel is there. Some of you are having to move and it's making it difficult for this connection to come through. 
right? Or for the, this connection to stabilize and to progress. Spirit of possession, incubus, succubus, sexual obsession. Watch out for that also. All right, some of you, this new connection, this energy may be coming from the person who's coming into you who's really, really, really desiring you right now. That may be an added pressure. Spirit of the line, leader, recognition, respect. Maintain your responsibility. Right now, this is a reading for a Pisces who has a lot of sort of, uh, they have a lot of balls in the air and specifically to do with your work, your stability, your ability to maintain yourself. All of that is very important for you to carry on with in order to make the right decisions with this love connection. You're not going to miss your opportunity. There's going to be some luck that comes in and helps you out in this scenario. But for some of you, you may indeed just have to travel for work in the short term, <clears throat> excuse me, in the short term, so you can maintain your stability and come back and have what you need so that this relationship, this new connection, this person coming into you, you and them can make a solid foundation and move forward. All right, guys, I am going to leave it at that. This was the general weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces. And this is my Wednesday weekly general tarot reading for the water signs. We started off with Cancer, Scorpio, and now we finish with Pisces. And that's it. I'm going to thank you all for joining me. Please do check out the love readings that should be premiering on my channel. If you enjoy my readings, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, hit the notification button. All of those things really, really help my channel out. If you resonate with any of these readings, claim the reading in the comments and let the collective know that uh, this is something that you too are also dealing with right now, grappling with, going through, all right, so that we can share our experiences and share our thoughts and comments on that. But that is it for me. This is Bo and Arrow Tarot. I hope to see you guys at the next reading. I wish you all love, life, and happiness. Bye-bye now.